Hello there. So today's topic you can install Windows. Today's topic is that you can install Windows 11 in devices that do not support it and do not meet the minimum requirements. You know how um, you won't get an update. All you need to do is you'll need to have like a fresh installation. It requires to like create a Windows 11 boot media, a boot media or something for like Windows 11, and then you can have a fresh installation for Windows 11 and you can run Windows 11 on that device. Now I have a really old system at my place, uh, right? It's an Intel Core 2 Duo, like 4 GB of RAM, DDR3, really slow, really dumb. Uh, it runs Windows 10, but uh, I I tried fresh installing Windows 11 and it worked. It worked. I was able to run Windows 11. It did run slow, but in, on that so did Windows 10 so um, I guess if you have something like an i7 7th gen or something you, I don't think you will have problems running Windows 11 now um, you can go um, just looking up uh, the process just a second yeah okay so you can create a Windows 11 installation media, right? So, like, uh, what you need for this is basically a USB pen drive or a DVD, right? And um, obviously, I'll I'll link the website. I'll link the Microsoft official website. From there, you can create a Windows 11 installation media, and just plug it into the system and press like, I think it was F9 or F12. Well, let me check. Boot device selection menu. Hmm. All right. Um, Google says escape F2, F10, or F12, depending on the manufacturer of computer or the motherboard so yeah you can uh, you can plug it into your computer choose the boot device as the pen drive and then wait as a fresh installation of windows 11 is just being done right and obviously like uh, i guess you could say that um i guess you could say that this could also be misused right um like me installing windows 11 on an intel core duo was certainly certainly misusing the feature right because Windows 11 was not running properly on that thing and that was expected um, I also had access to a computer with an i7 6th gen right um, and of course I installed Windows 11 on that and it was running decently right um, I was able to like without any hiccups play a little bit of games and obviously not in the best quality but I was still able to play games Right, at least they could run, right? Yeah. Um, it was still smooth, but like when I tried tried to install Windows 11 in the system which had the Intel Core du Duo and was like really old, it ran slow. <laughs> let's just let's just stop at that. So obviously Microsoft is Microsoft is not like it advertised this way to install Windows 11, which I like completely understand because like. Microsoft basically makes a lot of money from Windows, right? And <laughs> they they want people to like buy new PCs specifically for Windows 11. And they knew that people are gonna find a way to install it on P on PCs which don't meet the requirements anyway. So now why not provide them with an official way? And they did. They just didn't advertise it. And that I understand. I'm not saying that um. You should do it. I just understand how it works, right? Now, obviously, I'm not gonna say you're gonna have the smoothest performance, but uh, me having the I the PC I'm running right now, it really, like record this video and stuff. It it meets the Windows 11 requirements, and there are certainly bugs. So basically, at least as of now, you can't get perfect performance on anything. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, there are certainly bugs in Windows 11. And I don't think that having a fresh installation in a device which technically, technically doesn't support it is going to help. But um, obviously, if Microsoft is providing an official way for you to do it, then 
it's got to be like at least somewhat um like smooth right you find like all these shady ways to like install windows 11 in your computer and then there comes out the official way you can trust the official way right um, obviously i'm going to give you the link in the description from there you can create an in windows 11 installation media and have a fresh installation and uh, yeah um wow <laughs> This this is this is actually um you know this is this is exactly what I was thinking um uh, that when like I could get an ISO of uh, the Windows 11 i software I can definitely put it in a computer which is not supported and then Microsoft comes out saying that yes you can do that and I did it and it works it technically works. For both the Intel Core Duo and the 6th Gen i7, uh, the 6th Gen i7 runs Windows 11 much more smoother, right? It's uh, it's it's not touchscreen, both of them, right? But uh, they are able to somewhat run Windows 11, and I'm saying somewhat because like Windows 11 still has bugs, right? And uh, yeah, I am waiting for the time when like we will not need to have to do a fresh installation. I guess I could say that the process is relatively simple, right? I bet you could do it within half an hour, like create an installation media and take a backup and put it in and then installation depends on like how fast the USB port is, how fast the USB device is and how fast the PC is. But uh, yeah, pretty sure you could do it within half an hour. And if you're worried about data and apps, you can take a backup, obviously. Um, I'm not sure if I should recommend this, right? Because this might have bugs. To be clear, this might have bugs. This might not work properly. But, hey. I mean, I only recommend it with, like, PCs which have good processors. But, like, still um, under requirements, right? Like, um, like how I said with the i7 7th gen, with an i7 6th gen. You, see, you can take a hint from how your PC is running Windows 10. If it's able to run Windows 10 without any hitch, then you should get Windows 11. And I recommend that you should at least have 8 gigabytes of RAM, even even like before installing Windows 11. Right? There aren't any requirements to like do a clean installation, but still, if you want like if if you want it like somewhat be smooth with the clean installation on an unsupported device, maybe 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM should be. So yeah, uh, that's that. Um, obviously, I've tried it on two PCs. Um, one seems to be running it fine. One seems to be technically running it, but running it slow. So yeah, um, uh, the i7 6th gen, it was able to run uh, Windows 10 pretty smooth, right? Um, and it does run Windows 11 smooth. For the Intel Core 2 Duo, it barely, barely ran Windows 10. And now install Windows 11. Windows 10, it could barely run Windows 10. Now I installed Windows 11 on that thing, and now I cannot open Word without it taking like 15 minutes. Uh, but but yeah, if your PC is fast and it's basically running Windows 10 smoothly, um, but your system is unsupported, you can try out a clean installation, and I think it should be able to run Windows 11 without any issues. Ta da! Anyways, that's it for. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll also put um, the Discord uh, link of my server down below. Um, please don't mind joining that. I mean, please join that. Wait, yeah, please join that. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please join my Discord server. Uh, yeah, tech expense or the tech salary.